We got here a 2015 Volkswagen Passat and it's got a whole bunch of lights on the dash. So we got ABS on, traction control, steering wheel right over here on the corner. I'm not worried about the TPMS. We'll turn this off. I brought out this test box and I'm testing can low, can high circuit for resistance. We got 67 ohms. That's good. We should see about 60. We'll move this to can low and chassis ground. Let's turn the key. We got the key on. We have 2.43 volts on can low. Usually can low is about 2.2 to 2.3. Can high should be about 2.7. And we also have 2.4. So it looks like the two cam buses are shorted together somewhere. So we have a whole bunch of faults. Uh, what I am focused on, data bus error value received. So there's one. Uh, invalid data received from ABS control unit. Right rear ABS wheel speed sensor electrical error in circuit. The CAN buses don't go that far. Control unit and steering wheel, no communication. And brake control module, please read DTC. I wanna focus on the ABS module first. I wanna disconnect this and see if our values go back to normal. Okay, let's take a quick peek here. See if we see anything. That looks pretty good. So let's see if our voltages change at all. Can high, can low, both the same. Let me actually start the vehicle. So we got the same thing. We still have 2.4 volts. I don't know how well you guys can see this, but we are connected to can high and can low right out of the module there. And this looks good. I would say that looks good there. So let's keep going. I'm right now connected here. I wanted to use a scope instead of a meter because you can see if there's any signal being transmitted. There's absolutely nothing coming from the ABS module uh, all the way to the DLC. There's no uh, signal at all. We're at about two and a half volt. I've done a couple of things off camera. Let me bring you guys here to show you what I've done. So my readings here are still the same. It still shows 2.4. What I ended up doing is I wanted to go and check the wheel speed sensors. I noticed the right rear does not show any signal at all. And this should not affect the readings we get here. But just in case there's something in the coating the Volkswagen has done, or if it sees that, it will intercept the signal that's coming from the ABS. Uh, likely not the case, but just in case it is, I wanted to fix that first. Here behind this is the transmission control module. The signal there is also good coming to that. So I fixed the wheel speed sensor here and the one in the back. Uh, it was not reading anything, so I replaced it. We are seeing a signal now from this. When I spin this, it does read up. So I'm gonna put this wheel back together. I'm gonna clear all the faults, and we're gonna see what codes come back. Because if the APS and the ESP code goes away, that might just be it. Maybe the way it's coded, uh, not likely the case, but I let the customer know that uh, let's take care of this first it's a cheap fix anyways rather than going down the rabbit hole and figuring out that you know maybe this is all it was all along so i'm going to put this back together here and we'll check the car out after so would you guess this the abs light traction light steering wheel light none of, none of them are on at the moment i even took it for a quick road test but now i just want to see what we get here <laughs> maybe one of you guys would be able to help me in the comments down below why do you think this is what is causing this 
considering the tire pressure light uh, I'm not too worried about it the customer said she doesn't worry about that the airbag light is on let me see here what that light is on for driver airbag igniter resistance too high but it does not explain to me why am I seeing 2.4 there and not I'm not seeing any data packets when I had my scope hooked up to it that's very interesting to me this is a new one to me i haven't had one like this where you know the can bus is not proper at the dlc and i don't know if it's something with these volkswagens by the way we got a keyless go system here <laughs> so we'll do the scan one more time we got tire pressure warning driver airbag igniter and also Control, your control unit and steering wheel, no calm. Uh, so maybe, I think it's probably related to this. Yeah, this is not controlling anything. Let me turn that music off. It's probably related to this here. I don't think the customer will care too, too much about that. And I'm just trying to figure out why is this like this? Why is it 2.4 volts? I don't know. But anyways, if you guys have an answer to this, please let me know down in the comments below. I would definitely want to learn. I would definitely want to know. And let me show you one more thing. When I was checking earlier, right down here, and I took the cover for it off. So right over there, that's the data bus interface. I took that off and I was checking there and the signal was still not okay over there. So if you guys have an answer for me, I'd greatly appreciate it. So with that being said, I think that's going to be it for this video. Please let me know down in the comments below your thoughts. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye bye for now.